Okay, so playing like Doubt, this is how you do it. You don't take micro fights ever. Not that he's bad at micro, he just doesn't take the fights. You go infantry, whenever you have an infantry step, you have Japanese, we're gonna go meta arms for sure. And then we go market to always get faster castle than opponent, and then we push. Or we do something, and then maybe we'll boom, we'll adapt. Doubt? Hey guys, I know NBA were trolling, you know, this game we're trolling as well, but I always make sure to say something good because these players have a really unique playstyle and they win a lot of games with this kind of playstyle. Doubt, extremely efficient at his playstyle. He knows his weaknesses and he knows his strengths and he plays towards his strengths and I love to see it. So, we're going to go men at arms this game for sure. It's good against Bulgarian, uh, Burgundians. You pressure them early and it gives us the map control and feudal then we go market after. And we do that by putting more bills on gold and less farms, okay? No sheep scouting? Is that too much? Uh, guys, Doubt is not a vegetable. He can scout with the sheep. <laughs> okay, I'm clicking too much. I'm clicking too much. Uh, 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 that one. The thing is, Doubt is not that slow. <laughs> like, He's not that slow. But I'll, I'll slow it down a little. I'll slow it down a little. Okay. Can I talk like that too? No, no, no. I, 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 I'm really bad at imitating accents and speech pattern. All I can do is the ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, what I think. That's it. That's the max you're getting. No quick walling this game? Okay. No, no, no. I have a better one. I'm allowed to quick wall, but only if I fail it. To be honest, even like me, Hera, fails every quick wall he does. So it's, it should be natural for me. Okay, let's uh, push deer. Guys, it has to be a doubt, a doubt dealer as well. This is how doubt lures deers, okay? Let me show you guys. He goes to get the boar. Ah, oh, come on, freaking deer. Come here. This deer is trolling me. That's how, that's how doubt lures deers. That's how, that's how he does it. I watch the stream all the time. That's literally how he lures deers. And then he blames the deer. Like, poor deer. It's not It's not the deer's fault. Okay, then we go for the house, then a mill. Okay, this is good. This is good. Oh, I used the TC for the for the boar. That's that's not doubt. That's my bad, my bad. I should know I should have known better. Doubt does not do that. I think he actually I think he tried starting to do that, but he does not do that for the most part. Okay, next elephant, we take it to the clean doubt way, okay? Yeah. And now, oh, I, I wanted only three on wood, but I have four. It's okay, we're, not, we're gonna still manage to go men arms. Why is the mill off by one on the berries? Uh, it, it, you have to make it here. There's nothing you can really do about that, sadly. It's a two by two. Just make it wherever. Okay, and we go get the elephant, and we go scout the opponents. Dad likes to scout. He doesn't like to, he doesn't like to lure too much deer. So now we're gonna go scout opponents. And again, we have to go infantry. It's like it's mandatory. He always goes infantry. He loves it. And the reason he likes infantry is that it actually fits really nicely into his game plan. Because remember, getting feudal age map control is really important. Oh, we lured the doubt way. <laughs> there we go. Old school baby. Um yeah, getting the feudal age map control is super important. No, doubt doesn't do that. No, no, no. You have to lose a build to board. Guys, guys, Daft is not bad. <laughs> it's all jokes, but he's not, he's not actually bad. He doesn't lose builds to boards. Not, not often, at least. Um, no, I do a house. It's not you, guys. I'm not cosplaying the average viewer. Or cosplaying, role-playing. I'm role-playing Doubt. Multiple S-tier champion Doubt. Okay, loom. Let me go to gold. I think I'm clicking too much. Gotta slow it down. Keep it simple. Alright.
And he honestly sometimes does four militia, by the way. It is a doubt move to go four militia for the men of arm rush. A yeah, proper rush, you know? And if you ask him, he goes, back in my day, we used to make army and go fight with us, but now no one fights, he says. Okay, we'll do four. Okay, now you scout over to wall. So he likes to do this. He likes to go a lot of pressure early feudal, especially with infantry. Then he'll wall, mark it up, and he'll win, and he'll get advantage in early castle. <clears throat> That's what he absolutely loves doing. So he'll go for range follow up right away. Because again, he needs that pressure. <clears throat> the A in castle is a possibility, yes. We don't take fights. We're not going to scout fight. We're just going to run. Like, keep it simple. Focus our energy elsewhere. Like here, we have forward gold. Keep an eye out for that. Get them in arm tech. And then we're probably going to follow it up with some skirms. Okay, we still have we still have pressure. It doesn't it doesn't actually matter if we don't take and we, we don't micro, we just go back. We just go back. Don't fight. It's, we're not winning on micro, we're winning on strategy. That's the whole idea. Perfect, we take that. Good mistake from uh, our opponent here. Oh, bad mistake from him, but good for us. And we'll wall. Very important. And now the only problem is that we have a forward gold, but we'll still try to pr put pressure here. Because we still have the men arm alive, right? So we are allowed to put pressure. Did I leave GL? I left GL already? I just joined them. <laughs> I'm not going to leave them this fast. I'm a little bit more loyal than that. Alright. And we'll continue walling up here. All right, now we run around and we buy time. We're not gonna micro fight. This is what people understand. Doubt has decent micro. He just doesn't take engagements like this. It's a waste of time. Whoever wins that fight, ask Doubt. Doesn't matter, okay? You just run, you buy time. Our main strategy is getting to Castledge with Market, okay? That's the main, main strat. I'm gonna stop making farms and go, going up to the next age very soon. If I have to fight, I'm gonna fight on a hill, but I don't actually, even one ever fight. I just buy time and continue running forward. Whatever it takes to get him away from my base. Now, normally this forward gold is... I, I don't know. Does that power it? It's its usually problematic. <clears throat> so you have to get the walls down in, in good time here. For sure. In, in my opinion, this is a really good play style. Yeah, buying time. We don't take the fight. We just buy time. See how smart Doubt is? I would take the fight and lose it, like, more often than not. And then I'm just taking bad trades for no reason, just because I think I can micro. Take the hands away. There we go. Play to the strengths. And now we get the market up. And look at this. Only a few farms. Why? You get gold. And Doubt said in the GL talk the other day, gold is everything. If you have gold, you make a market, you have every resource. And you can even sell stone, and we can buy up. Here, we just don't take fights. Just continue running. That army is just useful to get me up to Castle Age faster. Will I win? I don't know. But this is how that plays. And he finds a lot of success with it. Now, in Castle Age, I have a few options. I could go CA, but I don't think CA is wise here, since Sebastian has too many skirms. And remember, Doubt is not the kind of guy to go CA and out-micro the skirms. He's the kind of guy to go for the unit that gets the most done. 
So here he'll probably pick up gold mining upgrade. He still keeps the men at arm alive instead of losing them. We might eventually have to lose them, but we want to buy as much time as possible with with as few units as we <clears throat> possibly can. Now focusing on the different things, we can go for stable transition and we'll probably have to go stable and siege push. If I can keep the men at arms alive, it's a nice little bonus. Why not? Now, Doubt is known for CA. I don't think Doubt goes CA here, though, because I think there's too many scrims on the field. I could be wrong. It would be nice to have Doubt here just to like double check what I'm saying is correct. Because remember, I play against these guys a lot, but I don't really know what's going on in their heads. I just go off what I see. And this is what I see usually how Doubt plays, and this is how I can explain it. Okay, so now we recognize this. Doubt is really smart when it comes to capitalizing on the win condition. Oh, nothing fancy. He went all in for this moment. So he sends a vill forward to get like a siege push going and to make something happen. And the men-at-arms we kept alive will help us break in. That's really nice. So now with the initiative, we're going to go forward. Knights come out right away. Japanese do not win long-term against Burgundians in Castle. We do not. So we have to do something right now, especially with our fast up. Ah, Sebastian. I thought he'd be inexperienced and run in against a veteran like Doubt, but no, he does not. He goes back. We open Siege, then maybe Monastery. And that, those men arms are still alive. Why are those men arms still alive? Because he didn't take any stupid hero fights that I always take and lose my men at arms for no reason. You just keep them alive, they'll get value later, no problem. No need to rush it. Take gold, gold, best resource in the game, according to him. If you have gold, you have everything. And to be honest, I think he's onto something. You just, you just have everything, for real. Now he wants Mangonel, probably. And then he probably wants a monastery. Again, no fights, no useless fights. We know this is the time to win, and we're going to try to win in this time. And now we need a monastery. Oh, Sebastian, going out. And you can see the pressure the Siege Burst gives you. It's really hard to defend. Sebastian's having a lot of trouble here. The men armor is still getting value here. Breaking in rather fast. Devotion for sure, by the way. I don't know if he attack round micros like this, but Uh, that that was pretty pretty like okay so like that 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 does represent doubt nothing not the greatest micro ever but pretty good but the skill is in the strategy to get this position and now we add economy now we add economy that's how we do it you get the push going then when your opponent has defended from the push you add economy right away so you don't fall behind the Doubt Castle's coming. Don't worry, guys. Doubt Castle's absolutely coming. I promise you. 
Whoa, blast off. Artem, 20 gifted subs to the community. Let's go, man. Thank you so much. That's incredible. The love in the chat. Love to see it. All right, second TC. Now? No, we all, that always goes third TC. Well, not always, but he, he likes his third TC. And then into forward castle, which is which doesn't go up. The doubt castle is coming, I promise. It's the that's the finale. And notice at this time, doubt usually doesn't make doesn't over make uh, cavalry. He won't. He's not the kind of guy to go like light cav and run under and micro nerd and stuff like that. He doesn't over make it. Honestly, that always happens to Doubt as well. Like, that's completely fine. It was my, my bad, but like, low-key, low-key good Doubt moment right there. <laughs> hey, I, oh no, what am I doing? This is a useless fight. We don't take useless fights. Go back. That is not a strategical position to fight for. I can't resist. He's walking into it. Okay. But from now on, we're not going to take useless fights. We're going to sit. Even, I, I lost the, the, the units earlier. The Mangonels. Fighting a useless fight. I did. That was my bad. Doubt doesn't take that fight. Simple as that. All right, we might have to just run away here. That's yeah, okay. We have the boom anyway. And now we're gonna mine stone. And we're gonna try to reclaim the map control. We'll cancel this. So how do we reclaim the map control? We're gonna switch to a, a little tech transition. A little secret sauce here. The Cav Archers. Also one of Doubt's favorite unit. Why do we want to reclaim map control right now? Doubt loves his forward castle. That's like the most famous thing about him. Okay? Loves his forward castle. And he really wants to go forward castle here. He's itching for it, in fact. But actually, we have to deny him some relics at the moment. Oh, that's nice. That misses those. That wasn't me, that was Doubt. <laughs> doubt misses those! <laughs> Alright. Now we go CA, 3 range. And that's it, we're gonna, we're gonna reclaim the map. And then we're gonna go for 4 castle. Oh, castle right here. Would be amazing. And you always go when you're not ready to go. Like, I need another minute to get my CA all like, you know, masked up. But that's not what Doubt does. Doubt goes two minutes before he should. And that's sometimes really good and sometimes really Doubt. Okay? Again, not bad. It's just the castle usually goes up after a long time and a lot of death and suffering. For the villagers, of course. The viewers are having a good time. Get bloodlines. So we go... Guys, Viper drops it here. Vinchester maybe there. Maybe I drop it there. But we're doubts. And then he talks to Tato. Tato, imagine the castle right there. It's in between two TCs. Viper's like, you should have made it on the hill. He's like, I couldn't. I had to go for the big one. And now, this is the danger. You make the castle, now you have to somehow defend it. This is the danger. It, it's every game. It's every game. This is exactly what happened. Oh God, this is exactly what happened. This is, uh, this is exa and now you have to commit. This happens every game. Now I know why. And he, normal people might delete it, cancel, think twice about it. That has to get it up. Doubt has to get it up. 
Okay, I don't know if this game I'm going to be able to get it up, though. It's okay. When one fails, you just have to do it again. Yeah, now we go this way. Now we go this side. All good. Yeah, we cancel this one. <laughs> Sorry, it has to be another that one. <laughs> Congrats on HC5. Oh my god. This is, oh my god, it's so perfect. This is exactly what happens every single doubt game, and I'm not, in, I'm not even in a bad position, which is exactly like doubt games. It's always like, oh, if I just made a safer castle, or if I just did one thing differently, it would be a win. And now we know why. He just can't settle. He can't settle. He always goes for the big plays. Oh, good micro Sebastian. Whoa. Gotta play the Sebastian next, like a beast. Okay, now, most people, when they get forward castle, they, for some reason, always want fast imp. I mean, not for some reason, if, like, trebs are good and stuff. But Doubt really likes to, like, castle age push it out. And get a big economy. He doesn't really like the fast imp style, treb war style. Uh, I don't know if you guys have noticed that. That's what I've noticed. Yeah, I could be wrong in a lot of this. Keep in mind, this is my perspective of Doubt. Like, this is what I think Doubt, Doubt plays like. All right. And after a bit more in castle, then he'll go in. It's a valid, it's a valid way to play for sure. Oh, he's there. Gonna have to deal with those guys. Make some CA. Make some CA or something. Uh, this is unnecessary. Unnecessary. What did we talk about, Hera? Maybe that's my problem. I just take unnecessary fights. Markets to go up. And now we play more or less standard game, but Doubts and Pure Lage, from what I've noticed, he likes to be the aggressor. He doesn't like to play like the 200 pop game, he likes to be like the guy pushing, ideally. You know, oh, he would go samurai here. He would actually go samurai here. Oh, gods. No quick walling. It was tempting. Doubt tries to quick wall and fails? Okay, okay. I got you next time. I got you next time. Oh! What? <laughs> Is that the reaction there?
Uh, he doesn't really do this. What does he do here? I, I have faith he would do this. I have faith. He would defend this castle. The CA would not move, that's true. <laughs> he definitely don't move there. <laughs> Okay, now he switched the samurai. Okay, and no another thing that loves to do in late game is he'll trade army for a position, a castle, relics, economy, that kind of stuff. He he will trade oftentimes when it comes to that kind of uh, a situation. He doesn't shy away from that. Castle goes down. How do I make a castle? So now, if he's getting attacked, but he doesn't like being attacked. I think he likes to be the guy with the initiative. So he would just counterattack and go for like another castle. And now he he doesn't even look at the samurai. Like those samurai, they did the job. They prevented the the uh, siege from killing the siege workshop, the rams. They did the job. So he's not gonna micro them. He's gonna instead focus here, where like there's the next big thing happening. He always focuses on the big stuff. Okay. Doesn't even look back. Honestly, realistically, he's not looking back. And look, we're always in, we're always in a castle war. You see this? I would have made the castle here. Since I'm playing like that, I make it here, and it always creates castle wars. It always creates castle wars. Now we know why. Oh, the samurai should eat the custody though. They should eat them. Oh. Oh, yes. This is amazing. We lost a lot of us rating. Accurate. We always have something in compensation. The game is always messy. No, he doesn't go like this. He goes trap. He goes trap. It's not. It's not stupid aggression. It's not stupid aggression. Definitely not. We don't go for bad plays. We just go for risky plays. GG. That was an amazing, amazing display of what your average doubt game is. Like, seriously, that was super, super doubt. I, I really like this one. Notice how, because of the, the constant doubt castles, the game gets messy. But he's always trading his army for position. He always goes to siege push, forces the monastery, then boom. Then goes for another castle, forces the, some something to happen. And then he just gets economy behind it. It's so smart. It's so smart. And no fancy plays. In fact, every time I tried to micro here, I lost the battle. So me microing was actually really bad. Perfect out game here. Uh, this will probably make it to YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe. Check out the video I made about MBL as well. We're going to have a little series about this. Actually, this series reminds me of... Last Hidden Cup, like three years ago, when Viper played as like the players. I don't know if he ever made YouTube videos out of it, but hey, why not? It's actually a lot of fun. So this is my take on it. And we have Doubt here uh, with a very classic Doubt game right there. All right, that's it for now. And peace.